The swim library of the College of William and Mary is more than a storehouse of books. The library is a vital information service center serving all members of the William and Mary community. The services offered by the library are many and varied, and a knowledge of the location of library services and materials will enable you to make better use of it. Like any library, we have a large collection of circulating books. These are housed on the second and third floors. Here at William and Mary, we have an open stacks policy. This means that you are free to select the books you need and may do some of your reading here without checking the book out of the library. You'll soon become acquainted with this use of the library, but in this film, we'd like to introduce you to some of the other services which will become increasingly important to you as a college student. For example, there is an audio-visual department with a listening room and record collection. A large collection of reference material is available in the reference department. The library also subscribes to more than 3,000 different magazines, newspapers, and other periodicals. We also have a priceless collection of rare books and manuscripts. Located here on the ground floor is the Lord Botetot Gallery, and directly behind it is the Special Collections Division, which houses the archives of the college and the library's rare book and manuscript collection. While these are separated from the easy access of the main collection, they're available to faculty, students, and other interested persons who may have occasion to use them. Here in the rare book room are volumes dating back to the invention of printing. The collection's special strength lies in Americana. Among the books here are an early edition of Sir Walter Raleigh's History of the World and the first London edition of the 1754 Journal of George Washington. In the Virginia Room is an outstanding collection of 17th century accounts of voyages to Virginia and histories of the colony. The library's manuscript collection touches on many aspects of Virginia life since the 17th century. Through family papers, correspondence of William and Mary alumni like John Marshall, James Monroe, and Thomas Jefferson, Civil War letters and diaries, maps, broadsides, and historic newspapers. The College Archives is a storehouse of material illustrating the growth of William and Mary since its founding in 1693, including files of student publications, early records of the college, minutes of meetings of the faculty, and pictures of the college. In the Tucker Coleman Room is preserved the library of Sir George Tucker, patriot, judge, and second professor of law at the college. The volumes in this room, as well as the other rare books, are listed in the public catalog on the first floor and may be consulted in the special collections area. The large gray area on this map of the ground floor shows the location of the audio-visual department, which includes music room, film preview room, and duplicating room. In the audiovisuals music room, you may listen to selections from a collection of more than 2,500 records and tape recordings, including classical, folk, and popular music, as well as operas, ballets, plays, and other spoken works. The room is equipped with stereo headsets for individual listening to your choice of 10 channels. Just ask at the desk and the staff will play your selection on one of the stereo turntables or tape recorders. Across the hall is the preview room where films can be viewed. The department rents and borrows hundreds of films each year for faculty and student use. The library also has its own collection of educational films. Next door is the duplicating room, where photocopies are made of pages of books and periodicals for personal use. This is a particularly valuable source 
when materials you are using may not be removed from the library. The reader printer can produce copies of microfilm material. There is a small charge for duplicating services. Looking now at the main floor, the gray area shows the location of the reference department. From this department, you may get general assistance in the use of the library and special help in seeking specific information.